for TDJ's uh, YouTube channel and just big shouts to everyone who's viewing out there and I'm just doing this video that a few of the viewers are asking me what PC I use to play GTA V on and GTA Online and H1Z1 King of the Killing Survival H1Z1 I will show you my settings now and if you've got the same PC you can do the same As you can see, model Dell Octiplex 780. It's a quad, it's a 7 gigabytes of well. God, it's like a bloody mouth hurt. CPUs. CPU ID for the information of my PC. You can see that it's a quad nine five five up motherboard is DG three five EC memory seven gigabytes. Put in slot one, slot two, slot three, and slot four. Graphics NVIDIA GeForce there and it's giving me DDR5 and all you do is with your control panel so I do the few NVIDIA tweaks then oh First of all, you want to go to global. Make sure everything's off, 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 off. Where it says kill the GPUs, make sure it says all. Then you want to put maximum pre rendered frames to one, multi display to single display, power management, and then change it to maximum performance. Share the cache off. And now I'll go man with high performance off. Set it optimize it and I put on. Super buffer and I kept that on. Vertical sync off. Virtual pre rendered frames one up right. Then the foreground there, you see just click that to add to it. If you need to just click add and it'll add to it there. Right, make sure it's all off, off, off. All CPUs. One single player, maximum performance, and that's all you have to do. And I'll put my virtual sync as adaptive actually. Right, that's how you do is that and my I put my screen resolution to that 1 to 8 or times 720 I just put it on it and then documents Rockstar Games GTOV settings edit and just ch I just changed all that to that if you can see it I'll make it bigger so you can see it better there you can do yours the same Copy, just copy all the numbers what's in there and do that the same to yours. Oops. And also, you need to do uninstall any, you have to uninstall any, fi any uh, virus cleaning software, uninstall it all and just want something like CC cleaner and you just run that now and again to clear the cache like I do. So you have to just run that. Uninstall all stuff and go to services. Services. And look for 
first thing you want to do is disable NVIDIA streamer service disable it totally total disable it and also you want to disable printer spool printer spool there total disable printer spool because you don't need that not printer PC and also windows event log disable windows event collector and disable windows event log you just back this properties and just put disable there Simple enough. that's all you need to do and if you get a 1g shirt and i always run it i just can always be clean like that just to clear the ram just to clear all the ram and shit like that and you got as you can see then we can make every gt for some 30 quad that. And also, also you want to check in this config, see what's running, start up, I just want to click that, and just have the main system stuff one in there, that's all you need, that's all you need to have one in, nothing else, and that's it, I hope you enjoyed the video, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. so it was a uh, system there, Dead off the set for a minute. Oh. Driver pack model, dead off the set for a minute. And look for GTA XC. You put first of all, you want to put you update speed and click high. That's what people have been forgetting to do. You have to click update speed and click on high. And then click GTA set priority high. GTA relauncher, click that to low. And all the sub processes, click to low. Every time you load the game. And the physical memory is only 31%, and it stays there. Perfect. Enjoy.